Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just got back from wheeling um, down at the uh, Daniel Boone area and uh, it was a very wet weekend. Uh, it was awesome camping, but you know, tent is starting to get a little stinky. Um, it's been in some weather uh, in the snow. You've watched the channel, you know I do winter camping. Um, I've also been doing summer camping. Uh, the tent's holding up well, but I'm starting to get a little bit of wear. Uh, it's time to start to do some maintenance on it. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about um, getting it clean. As you can see, I have the floor out of it. And we're going to use some uh, NYX Wax tent gear for cleaning. And I'm going to do some seam repair. Uh, and I got a little bit of a small little puncture hole. Um, I think it's just from putting it away inside of the bag or something so I got I'm seeing a little daylight through the tent I'm gonna go ahead and repair that um, some of the seams uh, where the factory tape is where the vinyl is is leaking a little bit so we're gonna do a little bit of repair there but um, if you want to follow along this is gonna be solely talking about tent maintenance and what we're gonna do to keep this tent in great shape so let's go ahead and spray the cleaner on there um, it says to go ahead and get the tent a little bit damp, knock off any debris that you can. And we're going to go ahead and spray one side and uh, let it sit for a minute and then we're going to wipe it off. So this bucket of water is just fresh water to keep the microfiber damp. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this side. I'm going to move left to right and spray with the, the NYX wax. And then it says just kind of to scrub it in lightly. You can use a bristle brush if you have any deeper stains. I clean my tent very regular, um, so I don't really have any hard stains to take care of, but I do like to keep it treated uh, for the rain protection. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, spray this left to right, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I have the suds on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a damp cloth and just start rubbing that in. Now this does have a little bit of a smell to it. it just kind of smells like wax given, you know, it is a wax, a protector. Uh, so just coat it on. It doesn't really have a spray. It just kind of comes out like a foam. I'm gonna go ahead and get this damp. Kind of push it in the material. I'm gonna go ahead and get down in these seams real good. Just kind of push it down in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue that around. Uh, once I work my way around, I'm gonna empty out the bucket of water, uh, come back with some fresh water, and just give it a nice wipe down and let it air dry. So as you can see, that water has a milky white, uh, hazy residue to it. So um, I just finished with um, coating everything, the, the top and the bottom, the sides, the zipper areas, the seams. Um, 
are all nice and clean. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty that bucket of water out and I'm gonna make sure I clean my cleaning cloth off. The door's still drying a little bit so you can kind of see it's still a little wet there, but it dries nice and clear, no spots. Uh, this side is still drying. So I'm gonna give that just a few more minutes and then go ahead and do a quick final wipe and get any extra residue off so it doesn't leave any type of uh, just a white little ring or something like that. But I've never had any real problems using this NYX wax. It's a very good product. So let's let this dry and then uh, I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to uh, treat the seam and the little hole that I have. So one of the holes I'm going to be repairing is right there. It's really tiny um, under a heavy, heavy rain. It will kind of start to develop a little bit of a drip um, and I, I want to get that taken care of. Um, some of the other small ones where I'm seeing light, uh, let me see if I can get it right there. I'm going to go ahead and um, get that one cleaned up. This is a silver stitch here. I'm just going to put a uh, coating over it. It's not really leaking through it, but occasionally um, under heavy rain, I'll get a small little drip there. Another one of the ones I'm going to fix is right here. Um, it's just from being used that it started to develop a little pinhole um, and occasionally I'll see a little bit of water over there. So I'm just going to work my way around the tent. Um, the ceiling is black so right now it's really easy to see light. Um, those are good. Um, I'm just going to get that one i don't know why the right side not so much the left side but i'm gonna get those um patched up and i don't see any on that side so just a few little maintenance things to keep my tent in great shape and being able to use it in all seasons uh, i love this thing i still highly recommend it um I would like to try to the gazelle just to get a real good comparison, but so far I'm really happy with the FSR tent. A lot of space in here. Right now the floor is out because I just washed the floor. It was getting a little grimy, but I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna let this uh, dry for about an hour and then I'm gonna come in and hit those seams. So we went ahead and put the patch on and it said to round the corners off. I just did, a, it's got a little grid on it. I just did a little four by four grid. And as you can see, uh, the hole right there, um, it's kind of transparent through this, but it's definitely sealed it. Um, I have it in the center and then I just kind of did a four by four square, rounded the edges. And then now I'm gonna put just a sealer over top of that to make sure that it's good and sealed. So the tent's been sitting for a couple hours now. Now you can see the seam sealer has dried clear. Um, so that's nice and sealed inside of there. Uh, got the little repair. Um, I also did that um, seam sealer to some of these little pinholes. They have a nice um, clear over them now. I'll go ahead and watch those. If I feel like they need the little patch area, I'll put a patch on it, but I did run that seam sealer all the way down all the seams. Um, like I said, this has been drying for a couple hours. Um, it's not tacky, it's not sticky anymore. So we're going to see how that works out um, here on our next camping trip. So we're gonna go ahead and call this the end of this video for maintaining and cleaning your tent um, for longevity. If you have any comments or questions below, please uh, let us know maybe if I'm doing something wrong or I could do something better. I'm always open for opinions and um, advice. So thank you for tuning in.